Hey, welcome back to Fixing a Blind. On today's episode, we're going to be working on this here Baja mini bike. Um, comes with a 196 Honda clone. Okay, so basically, it's just not running, and it doesn't continue to run. Um, when it does, when it, when you do finally get it started, it won't stay running. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to pull this carb off. We're going to go through it. Um, we're going to drain the gas out because um, the gas is a couple years old. <music> Taking these two nuts off here. And then we're going to go ahead and pop this air filter cover off if we can. We might have to take the seat off to to do so though. Let's see if we can't fish it out of here. All right, so right here underneath the seat, right in the middle, there's a single bolt, or sorry, not even it's not even a bolt, it's a nut um, that we need to take off. Alright, so now we can get this air box out of the way. Go ahead and pull this wing nut here to get the filter out of the way. And get the air filter out of there. Now remember on the back here, there is a little nipple. And what that's for is that goes to your valve cover. And that is to allow the crankcase to vent into the intake. Now, this has a, a, a filter in here and a hose to drop down. So if you are on uneven terrain, it allows the oil that might splash up there to come out and go on the ground instead of going straight into the engine. All right, so let's take this choke lever off. All right. We have to get the fuel filter or fuel line off. So we're gonna use the these uh you know the, the smallest players I got to go ahead and get that clamp off. And then we grab the line and we just give it a little twist motion to kind of break it loose off the carb. Okay. Alright, so I got a catch pan down here, start catching fuel. Now basically we want to get this line off. We just use a screwdriver here. Now that we got it twisted loose, she'll come out and she'll just start dumping fuel out. And that allows us to pull the carburetor out a little more. And right here on the throttle, okay, we need to get the throttle to turn. Oh, she's stuck. All right. And then we take this little spring off. Now this spring is very important, okay? The spring that goes along here, this little guy, what that does is it holds the arm tight against this little um, rod, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help stop it from surging.
And then we'll just flip this carb upside down, kind of dump out the excess fuel, fuel that may be in here. But you can see, let me see where are you guys? All right, you can see here, right? You can see that this is really hard to turn back and forth. So we're gonna have to get some carb cleaner in there to clean that up, um, lube it up, get it so she turns nice again. All right, I'll see you guys over on the bench. All right, so repairing this carburetor is a bust. <laughs> so, um, you know, we talked about this being stiff. Um, the, the, the nut that holds the bowl on right here uh, has been broken off uh, either by the customer or um, something. Someone tried to repair it at some point and busted it off. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace her with this. Now these these are off of Honda's um, Predator 212's Clone 196's. It's very similar. What you'll notice here is this part here. Let's see, can you guys see? Oh yeah, yep. The, on this one here, you've got a filter. On this one, you don't have a filter. Okay? But other than that, they're almost identical inside. They both will work. Um, they'll both operate. Um, even the even the choke and everything is all the same. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Okay, we got to get this in here. And you see like it's it's slotted when you look at the top of it. So you get it in, find the hole there, push it down, and then she'll stay on. <laughs> All right, here we go. And then we gotta get the spring back in that little hole. Come on now. There we go. All right, now that'll help prevent it from surging. Okay, now this out of the way all right let's go ahead and slide our fuel line on okay get our fuel fuel clamp on here these wire ones are terrible they don't I don't know they don't really do much but let's put it back on there just for that's because that's how it was so let's go ahead and put that on Take our choke lever, and you see you got this little stud that sticks down. Let's see, can you guys even see that? All right, you got this little stud that sticks down. That has to go in this slot of the choke, okay? Make sure it works before you go ahead and put it back on. Okay, put this into the on position, or sorry, off so it's forward. And then your fuel needs to be forward as well. Now you notice, see how this cover has got... Uh, a big slot for the fuel side and then this is the choke that's because you can put different carburetors on here they make different designs some of yours will have this style carb and then others will have this style here so uh, basically it just allows for the fuel to either be up here or down here you know okay now we make sure we got our gasket on here on this side um, on this one, it just stuck, so we're just leaving it there. Okay, we get her started. Okay, make sure everything lines up. All right. And then we got that vent hose on the back. That's got to go back onto the, the air box. Put our two nuts back on.
Now it doesn't matter if you have a Predator 212, a Honda 196, a Honda clone, so any of the Chinese branded 196s like this. This one's actually a clone. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. They all are the same. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the air filter back in. Okay, real basic. Just make sure that you get it in, get it snug down. Doesn't have to be super tight. You know, it just has to be tight. Tight enough to seal. All right. So that's good there. Make sure that vent hose is all the way on. Yep, that's good. Spark plug wire, sometimes you gotta be careful because the spark plug wire will get pinched. All right, now let's go ahead and put our air box cover back on. And that's just held, up, held on by this wing nut. And again, this is plastic, so you don't want to tighten it down too much. You just want to tighten it down until you see it start to bow a little bit. Um, that way you know it's tight enough. And we got to put that seat back on. So we're going to go ahead and take that nut back off and that washer. And there is a little hook on the front of the seat right here. And that's going to go right in up here. Oh, you guys can't. All right, so... We have this little hook on the front of the seat, okay? And that goes into this little bracket right here, okay? Hooks in there, and then the bolt goes down and goes right through here where they got their license plate. So we get the hook in. Washer on, keep the nut on. Alright, now she's tight. Alright, now I'm going to put some gas in here and we'll go outside and we'll fire it up. Catch you guys in a minute. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. First off, we'll make sure that the, the kill switch is turned off. And we want to put her on, the gas is on, which is that way. And the choke is forward and back. Um, but we shouldn't need choke, it's warm enough out. Alright, looks like we're good to go. I'm going to take you guys for a ride on her.
So now we're going to go ahead, put our fuel line back on. Or sorry, not our fuel. <laughs> 